Welcome to News and Views, I'm Danae Jones and it's my pleasure to bring you this week's segment. Today we're at Riley, a Crystal Brook Collection Resort. Riley has only just opened its doors in Cairns and is the first new five-star hotel to be built in over 20 years. At Riley, rediscover fun, live in the moment and indulge in the little luxuries. Leave your worries at check-in and stake your claim by the pool. Riley is beautifully chic yet sustainably modern with three restaurants, the city's first rooftop waterfront bar in Rocco and a day spa, LMA, to help you escape from the daily grind. Today we're talking to Warren Ench, our local federal member for Leichhardt, who's also the chairperson of a foundation very close to his heart, Harold's House. Welcome to News and Views, Warren. It's always a pleasure, Danae, always. Great to have you back. Great to be here. Now, Harold's House is a foundation that you go back a very, very long way with. Can you explain to us how Harold's House actually began with Harold Falge and yourself and Charlie McKillop and those back in the day? Well, back in the day, and we do go back a lot of years. Um, goodness me, this, we go back, I guess, to the, probably the early 2000s, um, where, when Harold was still very actively involved in street-level youth care and my office used to do cook-ups for him and uh, we used to do you know, spaghetti bolognese and things like that and, and we would take them down as a donation to uh, street level youth care and it was during that, that period of time and in a conversation that I'd, I had with Harold um, that he shared with me a vision of buying a house for, for street children, you know, for homeless kids in the street and uh, yeah, initially I was a little bit sceptical about the need, but uh, after spending a, a couple of evenings with Harold, uh, with Harold's crew, with Street Level Youth Care, I realised that, you know, you were seeing, I was seeing children coming up as young as eight or nine for a meal. Mm. You know, that's pretty sad in Very this town. Very sad. And unfortunately, in a lot of cases, parents might have been down at the casino or something or other, and the kids were just roaming up and down the esplanade or the street. Uh, which was a real worry um, and so I realised it wasn't and, and I said to Harold you know uh, what have you done and he, at that stage Harold had saved about twenty thousand dollars and he really had no idea where he needed to go and there was a couple of initiatives that he had endorsed which were never going to work for him and I said to him look mate if, if, it's, if it's a house you want why don't we set something up in my office and let's start a fundraiser mm. and that, that basically was the genesis of it and uh, during the early days it was primarily with my staff and then I reached out to to the community and we we got some great people come on board you know Peter Phillips from the, the Cairns Penny Bank um, we got oh goodness me I'm, I'm trying to think back that far now but you raised um, hundreds and hundreds of thousands well, we of dollars well we did we did over time and um, uh, Charlie McKillop then, she was working for me at the time, she, she agreed, agreed to take over as the chair and uh, to help us out. She was absolutely amazing. But over five years we raised about $870,000. Extraordinary. Now this money, we, we, we were having an annual Harold's House, you know, build a house function. I remember having, the, having these functions in, uh, in the Cairns International. and. Uh, all dressed up as, you know, Harold the Builder, with the bib overalls and all the gear. We had the logo that we had set up. And uh, amazing generosity with charity auctions, etc. Et A lot of uh, local support back then for it, wasn't amazing. it? Amazing. In fact, we become the premium, uh, or the premier uh, charity to support. And, you know, Rotary came on board with their duck races. Uh, Zonta came on board in a big way. And uh, it was just, uh, it was really great to see. Uh, anyway, we raised the money, we bought, we bought the house. Harold had this philosophical view that he did not want a, any government money. Because mm. he didn't want them to control it. And in spite of a lot of caution against doing that, he continued to do it and eventually he ran out of money. Mm. And when that happened, the play, he, he shut the place down and uh, we heard that it was going up for, to be sold. And that's when I stepped in again. And, and he uh, passed away in that Harold, process? Harold, uh, during this period, he was still alive at the start of the process. But my concern, and, and I expressed this at the time, that, you know, this is a legacy of Harold Felch. Yep. 
and um, this is really was his his lifelong dream to build this. And as I explained to the owners at the time, how can that legacy be sustained if you're going to sell the house? Mm. And so uh, there was some rather terse discussion. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, there was an agreement that they would transfer the house back to the Harold House Incorporated Committee, which I had reinstated yep. uh, with some uh, very high profile people. And so you brought back the old committee? Well, I did. I, I reached out to <clears throat> many of those that were very active at the beginning. And uh, uh, Karen Duffy. Karen, of course, started off her role very active when she worked for Arab. Uh, and then come to work for me as my EA for a while and now working with council. And then Charlie uh, McKillop Charlie that McKillop worked for you, now worked with the ABC. Now with the ABC, well she's my deputy deputy uh, on this. We got Peter O'Connor, uh, who is our honorary legal legal person. We got um, um, we got Peter Phillips, um, who's does, who helps us with our finances from Cairns Penny. Uh, great to have Peter on board. We got Marina Anthony, and then of course uh, uh, Christine Edelson, uh, who was uh, with Black A Bright Black, Bright AV. Black AV. Her and Liam, who, her and Liam were great support. She's on the committee. And then we have uh, uh, Justine, um, uh, Charlie's partner, and yep. Yolandi, yep. Uh, uh, your beautiful the, wife, my beautiful wife, <laughs> uh, on the committee. And so, look, we got we got a good. We, we started to bring the team back. Judge Henry is yep. is also come on board, um, and Terry James, the deputy mayor. Great committee. Uh, it, it is a very good, strong committee, and um, and so through that, what we've done is. Um, now that we've got the building, we, we've got it back, we've got it incorporated, we've got charity status, we're now working to start to build the profile again so that we can uh, start to raise some more funds to ma for maintenance of the building that allow us to buy this property unencumbered. And the whole purpose of it, of course, is that it is for children 16 and under for residential support so that they can come and stay there and get the support they need. The fact that we've secured, we've now got that back and we've got it in the in, in our committee's name, it will always be an asset for this city. Yep. We've incorporated, it, we, within our articles of association, it has to be used singularly for that purpose. And, you know, I have to say, this is a great way, the other thing that we decided was that we, that we had to retain the name Harold's House for this building for time immemorial to acknowledge the amazing contribu contribution of an amazing man that's no longer with us. Absolutely. But it will be a legacy that will live on from him. So Harold's House lives on. When we were able to get it back, it was a little tired, I guess is, is a fair fair say there you know there was still a lot of gear there that had been left uh, but it was tired and I thought how do we how do we deal with this how do we get raise the funds because there was no money in the tin and so I reached out to Andy Taylor from Prime Construction I thought if anybody knows any anybody that can help us here you have a guy that's out there building three iconic buildings in our city at the moment together in, in tandem and I thought wow maybe he can help and so I rang in handy I hadn't even finished the question when he said yes he didn't even ask me how much I needed he just said to me I'll give you whatever you need very generous man and he he said I will with all of my contractors with all of the work that they're doing here I will whatever you need I will arrange it and I've got to say to you, we've got a list now, and I don't recall them all. But I have got it that we've we've now made this big sign, which will go inside Harold's house to remind people that are there that this is the generosity of of, of the people of Cairns. I've included two of the previous very generous donors in Zonta yep. and Can in Rotary, <clears throat> because it was more than one. So I, I was just Rotary International, yep. but we've had the place fully rewired. We've had the place painted. We've had all the carpentering work that needed to be done. There were bits and pieces. That's all been done completely. 
We needed a new oven. We needed a new washing machine. All of that's been New done. air conditioning, everything. All of the rooms have been fully air conditioned. None of them were air conditioned. They were only small rooms. They did have ceiling fans, but really, you know, the summer we've just gone through, you know that people need, need air conditioning. So it's been fully air conditioned, the whole place. There is a, a, a resident or uh, um, if you like manager or house parents or supervisors a cottage there as well. There's gardens out the back. There is uh, the, the, the raised gardens where they can do veggies again. There's a gym and it's got all the gym equipment in it. You know, it's a converted old garage, but it's a gym. There is a there is a recreation room there, which I suspect was the old lounge room, but you know it's got a big screen TV. There's a there's a uh, a pool table in there, and even even guitars. Yeah. So everything is there, and you know when we when we went in there, and we opened up the storeroom, there is still packs of linen, and pillows, and even you know hair dryers and. Um, uh, electric fry pans and irons and ironing boards and a whole raft of other pro even uh, swimming goggles still in their packs all of this is all brand donated. new that have been donated a lot of this from Zonta yep. still sitting there so as it work as it is you could walk in there today and take in some ingredients you could cook a meal the kitchens all the ingredients all, all you know, the 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 all there. the equipment, all the plates, and everything is there. There are freezers, fridges, um, everything. You know, so so, <coughs> and there's also an office. There's full security uh, cameras, so it's ready to go. But it needed that uplift, and the work that has been done by a great team, uh, organised through uh, Andy and Prime, has really given us a facelift. And I suggest to you that the actual value, which I don't have, but it would be well in excess of $100,000. Uh, Matt Connolly from Expressway Signs has been fantastic. He's agreed to, he's made up a beautiful big sign for Harold's House, which really it identifies it. I think it's important for young people that are staying there to see that these are the people that are prepared to give something of themselves and their businesses for your future. For, the, for your future. So I think it's important that they see so that we've got a really large sign that Matty has made up that will be put on the inside near their swimming pool, so that they can't miss it. Yep. As a thank you for the work that uh, that's been done. One of the ones I forgot to mention, by the way, or the plumbers were another big one that we needed, but the big one for me was when I walked in there, they had a mountain of keys. And I'm talking about half a wheelbarrow full. Oh, wow. And I had to try and sort that out. And so again, I, I had to contact the locksmith, local locksmith, and we now got one key. One key that opens every off. So you've got a master key, plus you've got individual keys. So you've got a small handful of keys to run the whole place. But you know, it's wonderful after all these years, Every single person that I rang that was involved with the original plan, original committee, every single one without exception that I rang is now on the committee. Not one of them said no, and there's a wonderful sense of enthusiasm, a sense of excitement on where we go for the next project. But making sure that we look after Harold's house. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on reigniting Harold's house and the committee and bringing to life um, Harold's House Foundation and the charity again and really continuing on that legacy um, that Harold um, actually started all those years ago. It's a credit to you. We, we can't wait to see the opening of the property and to see the young people coming through that and hopefully being passed on to some positive pathways in life. Thank you, Danae, and thank you for having an interest in it. It's, it's, it's an absolute delight to talk to you. And it's wonderful to see that there are a lot of positive things happening in this city. And I tell you what, I, there's not a business that I've gone to when I've been looking for support or an individual that hasn't been to prepared to step up, not only to step up, but to actually give whatever is necessary well over and above what would be expected of them. It's fabulous. What a beautiful place to live in. We wouldn't live anywhere else, would we? Bet you can't buy better. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Pleasure to know. 
So there you have it folks, Warren Ench, our Federal MP, but also Chair of Harold's House and about to launch Harold's House, the charity and the house again in our community and open it up to young people who are out there homeless in our community. They will now have a place to stay and what a beautiful story and a long living legacy for Harold Fowle. That's all we have for you this week. We'll see you next week.